Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to another episode. Oh my god. <laughs> to another episode on the ARC server. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I'm just flying about over here in the, on Bilbo Baggins. We're just taking ourselves a little bit of a stroll this morning. Um, I would say morning, but I'm pretty sure it's about to turn nighttime or something. I can't tell by the sun because it's like really bright over there. But we have two T-Rexes over here. And I was, I'm trying to figure out if I want to tame these bad boys or not. Um, I don't know. Uh, I really like the one with the little bit of white coloring on the, underneath it. But the other one I don't like particularly like. But I don't know their levels, and I don't want to tame something that's, like, stupidly low level. Um. Ow! Don't have to hit me, dude. Um. Also, he looks like he's having a little bit of a shindig right now. He's having a little bit of a hoot nanny. Let me see. Uh, no. I wonder if I can get to where they can't even hit me. Oh, well, you're just yelling at me. Okay. They're being a little, they're being a little fussy tonight. So let's see if I can get rid of one of these. Let's see, that one, I can't tell. I can't tell the levels, and it, it, it makes me mad, because it's hard for me to... Okay, oh, right, okay. Okay, let's just get all up inside them. Um, those two are having themselves a little bit of a fun. 40 and something, I can't... Well, I know one of them's 40. Okay, bad idea. Okay, bad thing. Bad things are happening right now. Bad things are happening! Oh, God, Bilbo's dead. Bilbo's gone. I can't get out. I can't get out. Okay. Okay, bad things. Come here, buddies. Okay, you guys need to attack, attack me. Uh, attack, uh, neutral. I don't know where Bilbo went. Um, okay, you guys need to follow me. Bilbo, you stay in the air. Uh, okay. Yep, I'm dead. Well, this has been fantastic morning. <laughs> okay. That could have not gone any better. Um, hopefully Bilbo just stays in the air and he doesn't go out and attack. I know I put him on neutral. Damn. Damn it! Uh, a sensor chip. Uh, beep, 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 beep. Um, come here, huge stupid pigeon. Or just a huge pigeon, because I'm the one that's being stupid right now. Uh, Bilbo, please tell me you didn't attack him, because if you did, you're going to die. Um, where's he at? Follow. Okay, he's a wizard. He's a wizard. Look at him. <laughs> oh my god, Bilbo. You're a freaking wizard. Okay, well that was a fun morning so far. Um, let's make sure you're on passive and you're gonna follow me. Yeah, come on wizard, come on buddy. We're gonna get revenge on him just a second, okay? But yeah, there's a level 96 T-Rex over there and I'm pretty sure that was a white one. So, um, hold on really quick. I'm gonna go regroup and get my stuff back and um, as soon as I do that, we're gonna do some more fun stuff, okay? See you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, welcome back. So I found all my stuff. I did find my body. The T-Rex is still over there. I killed the other one, the level 40. Um, but this is going to be a perfect time to kind of show you guys my, what I've done to the inside because I'm currently dying right now. Um, <laughs> I finished off the roof. I've also added standing torches all around the perimeter so it gets keep warm in here. You know, whenever it's, you know, nighttime and apparently it's 38 degrees. So, yeah, it keeps it warm in here every now and again, you know, just come in here. I, I've left that open because I have an idea for, like, a garage for Steven. I think that'd be really cool. I haven't done anything to the roof yet. So, yeah, I've got Ricky Bobby in here. I've got Chump up there so that he's safe so I don't lose him. He's like, I really don't want to lose Chump. He's like the only thing we have. <laughs> the He's a really important to me. I don't want to lose Chump. So, yeah, I've got uh some just, just different uh, fireplace thingies over here, you know, trying to keep food going in me because my lord i've died so many times from starvation already and right now i'm needing to eat every four and a half seconds so that i can keep my food up because i'm currently dying so <sighs> i hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far i'm having a okay day it's labor day happy well technically today is labor day even though you guys are probably going to see this on friday <laughs> um yeah, um, I'm doing my recording a lot earlier than I usually do. I'm trying to catch up on videos because I, I don't have a lot of backstock on that. So, yeah, I've got a lot of work i got to get done today, and I wanted to do a video for today, so, or for this week. I just wanted to record. I'm sorry, guys. Anyways, I've done this to the room. I need to go to the outpost now to repair all of my stuff because all of it got destroyed except for my boots. Um, so yeah, I've got, I wanted to set up some things for the base really quick before I end up leaving. Um, hold on, really quick. Do I have, let me look. Um, 
fiber, thatch. I've got a bunch of large storage chests, and I want to use them today to build. I don't have any wood, do I? Not a single bit of wood. Wow. Um, do I have a tree somewhere? Yes, I have a tree. Come over here, tree. I'm going to murder you. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to set up some storage inside the house, and I wanted to get rid of all of the ghetto-ness out here. And I'm probably going to uh, remove this little hut right here and take the bed and put it upstairs. So that I have, you know, my little bedrooms upstairs that I still haven't finished. It's still open roof, so um, it'll come along. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Um, but yeah, I wanted to set up storage on this side. But I wanted to keep the standing torches there. So I had an idea. I had an idea for kind of like standing storage like instead of having it on the ground i have it up one and i thought that would be a really cool idea but i i need something called a cat i think it's called a catwalk a catwalk <laughs> we're gonna get ourselves a catwalk a catwalk a catwalk here it is catwalk wooden catwalk <laughs> i hate that word a catwalk oh my goodness so let's see if we can build ourselves a catwalk <laughs> so wooden structures Let's see. I haven't tested this out yet, so I don't even know how uh, how it snaps. Let's see. Where's it at? So there we go. Wooden catwalk. How many can I make? Four? Fantastic. So let's see. Let's uh, make ourselves put these down here. I don't even know how these things... Do they just snap onto walls? Ooh, they do. So am I not going to be able to turn you? Are, is this what's happening right now? Am I really not going to be able to turn you? Hold on. Um, I don't think I need it to be that way. Hmm... Hold on, can I start it on this wall? Let me see. There, and I wonder if I can keep extending it from there. We can. Sweet! So seven. Bam. I don't know how long I want to make this. I kind of want to make it kind of like the entirety of the wall. And then one more. Bam! And it's still able to let me get to my fire thing. So that's really cool, because I wanted to keep those. And then let's see if I can get these. Can I place these on top? Here's the thing. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Yay. We can place these on top. Yes. Now, how, how hard is it going to be to try to place this thing? Oh, my goodness. Um, I need to be elevated. Come here, buddy. Let me ride you. Can I place while riding it? I can. Okay. Now, how hard is this going to be to place? Um, I have a feeling I'm gonna have to do this off screen because I, I at least that you guys know What I'm trying to do because this is gonna probably take me like five hours to place this thing So what I'm gonna do, I'm sorry. I came in and came out What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can get these things up here in a timely manner And I wanted to fa I wanted to kind of move them. Hold on. Let's just uh, do eight again get rid of that I wanted to have them long ways so that I can fit a bunch of them up here because I really this is gonna be my main storage for right now um, and then maybe move up to vaults and stuff, but as soon as I get metal online and stuff like that so I don't have to keep smooching off of the outpost, as soon as we get all that online here, I'll be able to do it here. But um, I'm going to place these really quick. I want to see how easy it is, and then I'm probably going to go repair all my stuff. And then once I get all that stuff done, I'll see you guys in a minute. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Go down, dang it. I know, this isn't exactly what I said I was going to do, but I want him. Hopefully, those two stay away. And I hope he doesn't figure out how to get to me. Because if he goes around that corner, I have no armor on and I'm going to die. So, it looks like I'm good. Why won't you go down, dang it? Okay. I'm going to shoot you in the eye. Bow! Go down. Sleep. Sleep, little guy. Sleep. This is a bunch of ball. I shot you seven. I've shot like 50 arrows into this thing. He's just taking them like a champ. Come on. Go down. Okay. You're going to go down right now. You're getting sleepy. You're getting sleepier, buddy. I don't care that I'm hungry. Sleep. You know you want to. You know you want to go down. I, this is literally my second set of 50 arrows. Like, I'm almost out of arrows again. Are you serious? Hold on. One. I always heard there's like a tactic of like shoot every five seconds. But I don't like waiting that long. I want him to go down. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Please don't come over here. Please don't come over here. No, 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 no. Okay. Um... Yep, oh, yep, I'm dead. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done! Bilbo! 
Bell Bow! Follow! Follow me! Bilbo, come on, buddy. It's time to leave. Bilbo, come on, buddy. It's time to go. Yep, um, that didn't work. Okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh, wait a minute. It did work. It did work. It did work. Wait a minute. Is he dead or is he down? Is he dead or is he down? I think he's down. Hold on. Come here, buddy. I think he's down. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, we're not we're not gonna leave in a minute. We're gonna kill this thing and see if he's dead or if he's down. If he's down, this was the greatest idea I've ever had. He might have went down. I don't think this T-Rex would have killed him. Uh, hopefully I don't have to attack that spino. Go down. Okay, you just die, because I don't like you. Because you're just messing up everything right now. I like it that you're just sitting here. Just sitting here letting me kill you. Hold on, is he dead or is he down? Hold on. Are you dead or down? He's down! Woo! <laughs> we did it! We did something. We actually did something, Bilbo. Okay, hold on. Let me uh, get on you. I know I keep yelling in, you, in all of y'all's ears, but we just got... We just downed ourselves a level 96 T-Rex. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Get all the prime off this dude. And then I'll probably go kill that Spino. I'm going to get the taming, and I'll be right back, guys. And we did it. Oh my god. We just tamed ourselves a level 142 T-Rex. My god. <laughs> um, I don't know what to name it yet, so I'm just gonna go ahead and let just put my initials by it. I always do that through all my dinos, you know, just to, just in case if it gets lost. Um, even though I don't think it will. Um, but yeah, we just tamed ourselves a level 142 di <laughs> freaking T-Rex. Oh man, that's so amazing. So yeah, he's gonna be such a great uh, kind of like a defense guy. He's gonna be able to watch our base when we're not here. So come on, buddy. Come on, you gotta get back to the base so I can take you over there. I still haven't repaired anything. I've been just literally, I've been sitting on his uh, unconscious body, and you know, okay, you just wreck their faces, buddy. I don't know what I'm gonna call him. 142. I don't know. I, I usually I either name them uh, by kind of like fictional characters by like movies I like or uh, TV shows that I like or I name them really generic names So I, I can't I haven't decided on what I'm gonna call it yet So anyways if you guys have any suggestions for the our new t-rex who is being derpy right now Come on, buddy if you have any suggestions for the new name for a new t-rex Please place it down in the comment section down there. I'd love to hear what you guys think I should name this guy probably just gonna name it something like I don't know Jerry or something <laughs> Jerry uh, uh, David, uh, something like that. I don't know, some generically male name, because he's a, he's a, he's a male, so probably name him something generic, but, uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'd like to hear what you guys' suggestion on that. So, yeah, I still haven't, I've done, I've done anything. I've been literally just sitting on that unconscious, uh, T-Rex body just watching videos on YouTube. So, yeah, I've got some things I gotta go get done. I'm really, oh my god, he's so beautiful. Look at him. Hold on, let's just chill out, chill out, buddy. Look at his coloring. I love it. I absolutely love it. I love I love the white underbelly and I love the darker colors on the around. He looks really old. He looks like an old T-Rex. So yeah, I'm going to go get some things done and I'm going to go repair my stuff and get all that stuff done that I said I was going to do in the previous bit. Well, actually the previous of uh, the previous bit. Yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys. Welcome back. So, I've done finished placing all of the Yes, I'm done. Done finished placing. Yeah. I finished placing all of the chests, and I think that looks so cool. And the way I did it, actually, was actually really simple. I just got on Ricky Bobby and had him throw me up here, which was able to get me on this catwalk and really easily placed all of them. But by the way, this place looks so cool at night when all the tiki, uh, when all the tiki torches. They're, they're, they're technically called standing torches, but they look like tiki torches. Uh, all just scattered about. I really love how that looks. And also, I just wanted to show you guys something. You can lower the gamma, like, be, uh, below the normal, and look. This looks so cool. I love that. I just love, love that. Even though it's really, really scary. So if they're ever going to do like horror maps with this game, they could do so many cool things. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So let's go back to 2.2, which is the norm, which is the normal. So yeah, I've done some things off screen. I have done nothing here. I love the way that tower looks at night. Um, but yeah, I've done really nothing out here. I've mostly just repaired my armor. I've gotten a couple different things. And I want to build something else before we... 
uh, before we let off today. But I really want to do one more thing before we do start building. I made myself. I was getting tired of not having a gun. I'm so, I'm from the south. I love my guns. So I built me a shotgun. Actually, I didn't build it. I found this shotgun in the wild. It's not as good as the apprentice one we found in that loot crate, but. It's ramshackle and it has 127 dirt, uh, weapon damage, which is really good. So, yeah, I uh, and I went ahead and built some bullets for it. I had 50. I just went ahead. I was at the uh, at the outpost, and while I was repairing my stuff, I just went ahead and made bullets for it. So let's go test out our new gun. One of you are gonna have to follow me. You're gonna come with me, Stevie, just in case if uh, we have ourselves a, a malfunction. So let's go. I don't want to take on that old stego over there because I don't think uh, this gun going to be very good up against it. But this parasaur, we're going to be good, guys. We're going to be good, fellas. All right, here we go. He's level 40. Bam! Oh! <laughs> Dang! That sucker's got some kick to it. Um, well, he did. <laughs> Let's go and reload. Yeah. All right, who's next? Um, Parasaur. Well, come here, buddy. Ugh, this is how man takes care of business. Come here. Oh, right in the kisser. Pow, right in the kisser. <laughs> Steven, why are you even, Stevie, why are you even here? You're just getting in the way. Oh, uh, let's go and reload. Let's take on something a little bit more substantial. We got level 32 Ankleo, and we got ourselves a Stego. Come here, buddy. All right. Bam! Okay, he lived it. Okay, not bad. And bam! Not even a problem. Not even a problem. Let's go and reload. How you doing there, feller? This is how man takes over the world with guns. And then we have to reload every four seconds. Okay, God. Oh, God. Stevie, take him down. No problem at all. Goodbye. So, yeah, we got a new gun. I absolutely love this thing. Uh, that was actually the very first time I've shot it. I didn't realize how powerful it was. It could just completely one-shot a level 40 Parasaur. Uh, let's see how it can do against the Mammoth. I bet you that's going to have a problem with the Mammoth. So here we go here, feller. Come here, buddy. Let's see what you got. Level 50. Ooh, level 52. I might want to actually tame that. Nah, let's take her down. Oh, Sabertooth. Okay, this is a big... This is a... Okay. Stevie, take it down. Let's get rid of you. Oh, it's down. And it's down. I love this thing. It just two shot a level. Okay, we got in a big problem. Big fight. Goodbye. Oh, we had some lag on the server. But yeah, we got a new shotgun, guys. This thing is freaking phenomenal. It two shot at a level 52 uh, a mammoth. Oh my god, I love this thing. Okay, so enough fooling around. I wanted to build one more item before we left today. I wanted to build something to kind of uh, preserve our stuff. Because I went ahead and made a bunch of food off screen. I know this doesn't look like a lot of food. Let's go ahead and you sit right there, Stevie. I put a lot of it on uh, Bilbo Baggins. Because I was using the industrial grill at the uh, at the um, outpost. Which, by the way, we're going to be making one of those soon. Probably next episode. Because um, I need more food. Because I just went ahead and did up a whole bunch of food while I was there. And I'm using right now... If you guys don't know, the, the logistics of this game is... Everything has a spoil timer. If we see, look at this meat, it has 30 minute spoil timer, but if we put it on our body, not in anything, um, it loses some spoil time. So it went from 30 minutes to seven minutes. I think dinos are like four times uh, on the spoil timer. And the thing that I'm about to build, I'm about to build something called a preserving bin. Um, I don't know if I have every material for it, actually, to be honest, I wasn't prepared for this. So let's actually uh, do a little bit of this. And let's see, structures, maybe? And let's see, cooking, saddles, cooking, saddles, no. Let's go stone, bed, crafting, maybe? No. I didn't even look where this thing was at. Oh, fridges. I'm derp. Um, so we're going to need 30 stone, 30 wood, 10 fat. Oh, we've got all that. So that's not a big problem. And what this thing does is it's, I think it does 10 times. I think it's 10 times the amount of preserving capabilities as a, you know, regular having it on our bodies. And uh, I would rather have it like that and then having uh, it on our dinos. And nothing against the dinos. I mean, the dinos are four times, but I would rather have just a little bit extra. I'm going to need to go get some wood real quick. I know I don't have any wood, but um, I like to have a little bit more, uh, you know, capability when it comes to preserving my food. Which, by the way, I've resorted to just eating berries. And I actually saw this tactic from Zul'jin. I didn't realize that you could put different berries on different hot bars. Like, I have eight, nine, and zero 
all uh, dedicated towards berries, and that actually speeds up the eating process. You know, just come spam, cl spam clicking that uh, those three buttons. So that's really cool. So yeah, let's go ahead. Um, let's see. We've got wood, stone. I think we're all we're gonna need now is the fiber. Yeah, let's go grab some fiber, and then I'm gonna stick this preserving bin down. And what it does, what it runs off spark powder. Like I've got some spark powder with me, which is kind of cool. I don't know what kind of speed it uses it at, but. I think that's really cool of a trade-off. It's, it's able to preserve our items for just spark powder. So I think that that's a, a pretty good trade-off. So let's go ahead and hit this up on our park bar. Hit seven. I don't know where I'm gonna put this thing. I think I should just, you, will it fit underneath there? Hmm, should I have, nah, let's go, no. This is where I'm gonna have my machines and stuff. So yeah, let's put it underneath here. Um, let's see, I want it to kind of line up. I don't want it to be like, I guess I can put it up against the wall. I guess that's not big. Uh, that's not really that big of a deal. Let's go ahead and place it right here. There we go. And then we can put our spark powder in here. Now that it's on, and we can go ahead and put our meat in here. So let's see. The timer itself, let's put it in our inventory. We have a 14 minute timer on this piece of meat. So if we put it in here, it then jumps up to a two hour timer. So see the huge difference guys there's a big difference in there so it went from 14 minutes to two hours in a preserving bin so that's all big help for me so yeah that's gonna be it for today's episode guys i hope that you guys did enjoy we were able to get ourselves a preserving bin we got a new shotgun oh yeah we're gonna kill all the things with this shotgun there feller but um yeah i hope you guys did enjoy today's episode guys if you hated this video you know where to put it but guys if you did enjoy make sure you smash the heck out of the like button guys you guys have been doing great on my videos lately just wanted to say thank you guys for all of your amazing support and um don't forget to post down any kind of questions comments or smart remarks down in the comment section down there today has been a great episode we got a, not only did we get a new shotgun we got a preserving bin and we got that level 143 t-rex over there don't forget uh, to post any kind of suggestions for names i'm you know i'm trying to put them in my head trying to figure out what to name the sucker uh, so yeah i'll see you guys next time peace out and i hope all of you have a great and wonderful rest of your day see you next time